The Colorado River is drying up faster than federal officials can keep track. Mandatory water cuts are looming. Plummeting reservoir levels at Mead and Powell solidify Arizona cutbacks next year and near future threats to all the compact states, from Colorado to California. A blunt new report based on June runoff conditions from the Colorado River into Lake Powell and Lake Mead shows the reservoirs fast deteriorating toward dead pool status, where stored water is so low it can't spin the massive hydroelectric power generators buried in the dams and large swaths of Arizona farmland going fallow. The enormous, life-sustaining buckets of water in the drought-stricken West are emptying so fast that the Bureau of Reclamation added a new monthly report, on top of three already scheduled this year, to keep up with the dam. The Bureau said the loss of water is accelerating, confirming projections that massive water restrictions will begin in 2022 for the three lower basin states in the seven-state Colorado River Compact. Conservation groups believe Arizona will lose more than 500,000 acre-feet of water usually delivered by the Colorado in 2022 through voluntary and mandatory cuts, forcing significant reductions to irrigated farming in the desert state. Some, but not all, of Arizona's share will be replaced in trades using water already banked in the reservoirs. The Bureau's report for June added on to previously scheduled reservoir updates for January, April, and August, paints a dire picture. As snowpack runoff disappeared into dry ground instead of hitting the reservoirs, engineers calculated a 79% chance Lake Powell will fall below its minimum target water height of 3,525 feet above sea level next year. That minimum provides only a 35-foot cushion for the minimum water level of 3,490 feet needed to spill water into the electric turbines. The Bureau said there is now a 5% chance Lake Powell falls below the minimum needed to generate any power in 2023, and a 17% chance in 2024, the odds are going up with each new report. Lake Mead, which feeds the three lower basin compact states of Nevada, California, and Arizona, is in even worse shape. The compact requires declaration of restriction triggering shortage condition if Mead hits 1,075 feet or lower. Mead is falling now, and the Bureau affirmed the shortage declaration will happen in August. Las Vegas, a short drive from Mead and Hoover Dam, hit 117 degrees on July 10, and longtime local users are alarmed at how fast the pool is evaporating into desert skies. Mead is also in great danger of hitting critical elevations of 1,025 feet, a sort of emergency stop minimum, and the minimum pool for generating power at 1,000 feet, the Bureau's new report said. The chances of draining past the minimum by 2025 are now 58 percent, and the chances of falling below a power pool that year are 21 percent. Weather plus climate change. Long-term climate change is being exacerbated by a short-term drought lasting more than 20 years in the West, scientists and water engineers say. Even with the future snowpack bonanza, not currently in the forecast, the compact reservoirs will remain in deep trouble, said John Bergren water policy analyst for the nonprofit Western Resource Advocates. The Colorado River Basin's latest snowpack was just about 100 percent of normal, Bergren noted, but delivered only 50 percent of normal runoff into the river and the giant reservoirs. Water is soaking into parched ground or evaporating entirely before it can contribute to stream flows. It's startling how with each new projection, you had thought it can't possibly get worse, Bergren said. Even just a year or two ago, most people would have thought these projections are pretty far away 